YouTube, what's up, man? This is a gameplay video. It's a great game. It's just an example of fighting, and I'm going to teach you guys a couple little tricks throughout the game that can help you guys become better man players. But first, what I want you guys to do is follow my Instagram. I've been trying really hard to get that popping and really post a lot of my highlights in my story, and I'll follow you guys back. And I definitely bring up the Instagram all the time on the stream. If you guys want to check it out, man, twitch.tv slash dub dot. That's where all my games are live. I hope you guys have been enjoying the streams. Y'all been showing me mad love. So go ahead, click that link right there. Boom. Follow the Instagram and uh, we can get that popping before the Man 21 season. And before I get into this gameplay, I want to show you guys my team. I know I did in the highlight video. If you guys haven't checked that out, do that as well. But I want to go over my team real quick, give you guys what I use, what abilities I use, and how they help me uh, throughout the throughout the game. You know, and what I use mostly on defense. I'll show you guys what I use. But offensively, I use Michael Vick. Why do I use Michael Vick? I'm comfortable with him. I've been using him since Madden what Madden 18. I don't believe he was in Man 17, maybe till real late in the game. But Man 18, I've been using Michael Vick, and every time he's out, he's my quarterback. Why do I use the Ultimate Legend over the Golden Ticket? First reason, he has an Eagles card art. If the Golden Ticket had Eagles card art, I would probably use that. But I use this one, the abilities I use, Bazooka. I, I honestly feel like the X-Factors are bad in pretty much every position this year. Uh, wish they need to find, wish they were boosted a little bit, you know, between double me and whatever. Maybe I think they're all bad. But I have escape artists, get out of pocket, fast break to run the blast, which I'll tell you right now, as you'll see in this video, not a good offense. It's fun to do. It's fun to make highlights. I make people look stupid. But when they have these safeties or linebackers with enforcer, very risky. Uh, roaming Deadeye, why do I use roaming over dashing? One, Michael Vick never could get dashing. So, like I said, I've been using Vick forever since he come out. So, as soon as he comes out, I use Vick. He could never get dashing. I got used to using roaming. How do you use roaming? What you do is instead of sprinting the whole time, as soon as you want to throw a pass, you just let go of the right trigger. They count that as standing outside of the pocket. It is both dashing Deadeye and uh, no look Deadeye combined. You can throw passes across the field. Every single pass on the run before. If you let go of the sprint button, button will be automatically accurate. So that's why I use roaming. Human joystick just makes him that much crazier in open field. Hard to tackle. Easier to make highlights. And that's why they watch. Um, I keep my wide receivers with their abilities because when the abilities wide receivers are just absolutely insane. We don't talk about them enough because the run is the meta this year. But the, the wide receivers abilities are insane. Streak specialist, post specialist, wide receiver apprentice because I don't have hot route master. And cross specialist. Um, I use the same thing on Torrey Holt. The reason why I activate Torrey Holt over Calvin Johnson is because he has the four abilities. He is a 99 overall. I love the big bodies. As soon as Terrell Owens comes out, which I'm waiting, that's the, one of the ultimate legends I'm waiting on, going to replace uh, Torrey Holt with Terrell Owens so I can get 6'3, 6'4, and 6'5 wide receivers. Love the big bodies, and they'll come into play this game. So make sure you keep an eye on that. So like I said, Randy Moss and Torrey Holt have those guys activated. Eagles O-line still run the old Chris Johnson, like the way he moves, like the way he jukes. Just he's a solid running back. I'm not a big runner. Not with the running back. With the quarterback, yes, but not with the running back. Evan Ingram, Eagles O-line. Take a look at defense. Um, I've been running this setup all year. Both my safeties activated for hitting, zone, everything. Uh, and Miles Garrett. The rest are uh, Miles Garrett. I feel like the D tackle has to be your defensive line chem. Why? Because if you if I put say I do edge threat, say I put Lawrence Taylor and Julius Peppers, right? I put those guys activated. A lot of times in different defenses, whether it be one four six three four nickel normal uh, two three six uh, whatever defense you run, a lot of times I want to contain those guys. And when a, a pass rusher is in a contain, he might as well not have any pass rush attributes. He might as well be Shaquem Griffin if it's in a contain. When you're in a contain, the only th thing that matters is speed because you're not going to pass rush. They're only going to disengage. So that's why I want my best pass rusher to always be in a blitz angle, and that's Miles Garrett. I love attacking right up the middle, especially against under center sets, and you'll see that in this gameplay coming up against, you know, eye close, uh, single back wing, uh, you know, strong close, anything with two wide receivers, two running backs. Love that power specialist. Actually, what I have on Miles Garrett is pass rush elite. It's all you need for pass rushing. You don't need pass rush elite and edge threat elite. You don't need pass rush elite and power specialist. All you need is pass rush elite. Then I have Enforcer. Sometimes he blocks Shez right away on runs with the run stopper, which I think is a great chem. Some people say they don't like it. I love run stopper. 
and run stopper plus enforcer instant shed instant hit, hit stick then my fourth ability i put secure tackler why sometimes they'll shed the running back run by him secure tackler will give you the ability to reach out and warp tackle him so maybe instead of hit sticking in the backfield you'll stop him from a two-yard gain before barry sanders or walter payton get going that's why those are the four abilities i use on miles garrett uh let me let me know if you guys use something different you know my safeties i use the same thing uh in a perfect world it gets kind of boring because I've done the same thing all year on defense, but I, I think it's the most effective thing to do, especially stopping a run. These hit stickers are the real deal. Um, Enforcer, Universal, Lurker, and I'm using Acrobat just to try to see how crazy Calvin Johnson and Taylor Mays can get user in. Um, in a, if, if I were playing a million-dollar man tournament, I would have Secure t- or Tackle Supreme in this spot rather than uh, Acrobat. So I would have Lurker, attack, but... I tried Acrobat now on both my safeties, see how it works. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay because this is a slobber knocker. We're playing Jocko Suave. Uh, anytime I'm playing somebody on my stream, which you guys can watch live, uh, twitch.tv slash dub. Anytime I'm playing somebody on my stream and the chat below, oh, this guy's high on a leaderboard, got to sit up. And that's Patrick Peterson taking a hit. I'm definitely taking him off special teams after this game. You'll continue to see why. First play of the game, we're going to run. Uh, second play, we're going to run blast. So right there, two runs. And this play is important coming up because he's going to blitz everybody at me right here. And I'm actually going to take a sack. But he blitzed everybody. He blitzed off that tight end side on the Trey Y flex. Trey Y flex has become probably my favorite uh, passing offense in this mutt because it, it still has that dagger play that really gets open on a lot of zones on mutt. I know it's really tough to pass on mutt, and I think that's one of the best plays. As you see here, he starts under center, takes a sack right away from who? Miles Garrett. Pass rush elite is all you need up in the center. Once again, we're sending going to send a lot of heat at these under center sets because uh they, they can't they're not back far enough. Same thing why why people go to shotgun, they get further away from the blitz, further away from the linebackers, further away from the pass rush elite. When you're under center, I like to send a lot of pressure. Everything's bunched up and make people make reads. That's part of the reason why I have both my safeties activated. Calvin Johnson, Taylor Mays, no matter who I'm using, I'm able to lurk or get big, pick stuff off over the middle. So I think that definitely helps me as we see Calvin right there uh, jumping down to SWAT Calvin Johnson. Get to a third down run right here, but we're going to go for this fourth down. It's early. I feel like anything under fourth and five I can get. We're going to actually roll out and block. First time all game I've run this play, able to hit Mr. Calvin Johnson on the crossing route on the fourth down there. We'll get out here, right here, boom. Here goes Michael Vick in the field goal range. One thing I should have did here is not run blast two plays in a row, but I'm going to walk right into Night Train. Now, he might have been able to eat that hit stick if he was full health, but if you run a 20-yard gain, he's not going to be full health, and I ran another blast. Just a, just not not locking in all the way, uh, making the right calls, just trying to get out of there with Vick, and Night Train caught me. I told you, blast is cool, but you will fumble the hell out of the ball, and I cost myself some points right there. Uh, but this guy, I feel like, is in a bag right there. It's like a little delay route or an angle route to Gentry. Zach Gentry, the golden ticket underneath right there. There goes Taylor Mays with that enforcer, knocking the ball out. Get to a second and 10. This time I play a little coverage. Absolutely nowhere for him to throw. When you start sending that much pressure and they're blocking everybody, every once in a while you drop back seven, there's going to be nowhere for him to throw. Goes for it again. Absolutely nobody here on third down. There's uh, Lawrence Taylor. But, oh, no, Von Miller was in the contain. That's what I mean about contain. He's not block shutting. He's just disengaging when you get near him. As we see Michael Vick right here, try to roll out, but Brian Burns, that goal and take it a little bit too fast for me. Gets me right there. Next play, we're going to roll out. Just take what we have. I did have B breaking over deep, but I just wanted to take the yards ahead of me. Make this third down manageable. Right here, we're going to throw into the flats to uh, Randy Moss. Pick up five yards. We're going to go for this fourth down. I'm going to think he's going to max coverage, but he actually blitzes. Took the chance right there. Uh, put everybody out on a route, and he sacked me right there. And what I did was pretty much donate him three points. This kid hasn't had a first down, and I just donated him three points. Uh, that's rough. But I like to risk it. I like to go for it. I like to, you know, put everything on the line. If you guys like that, you guys got to watch more of my gameplays. I'm going to upload tons more of these for you guys right there. Everybody absolutely boxed. He dumps it off underneath here to Walter Payton. <laughs> Deion Jones, Debo, punching him in the face. Uh, user hit stick. I, you know, I would love to get my fumble back after a juke like that. But it's cool. Donated three. We got 38 seconds left in the half to get some points. Here's Patrick Peterson. You know, that's why I'm taking him off special teams. Uh, not exactly the greatest um, <laughs> carry rating. So I, I, 
I, I love him. He's my favorite corner in the game. Love using him. I think he's he's real agile and can get busy. But he just every time he gets touched, that ball gets put on the ground. So I turn the ball over here. Don't need another three. Mike Evans with a huge play right there, getting off the block. That big body Mike Evans at corner, getting off the block right there for him. He gets to a third and eight. He has nowhere to go. Here's that man again. Debo hit stick and Michael Vick and picking up the fumble. Debo with another hit stick, another fumble. So he cost himself three points right there. Two seconds left. We're just going to run blast against three deep. Try to get out of there. Make a highlight, but Merton Hanks wraps me up. So we're going to the half. We donated three points. We cost ourselves three points. We fumbled twice. We have zero points. Halftime YouTube gameplay, zero points. You know, but he only has three. And those three I donated. You have to realize, sometimes when you play Madman, you have to realize that your opponent is in a box. Your opponent is struggling. Uh, and for me, um, you just got to play smarter and play into that. Be like, he's not going to get any points, can't donate any points. I actually went for a pick there. I thought that was going to be an angle route and come back over the top. But it was a table route out to the flat. And he got me with that one. And he dumps it off to Gentry again. When I think about Gentry, I think about Game of Thrones and uh, the king's son, the king's bastard son, Gentry, uh, Arya's, Arya's friend. And uh, that's what I think of Gentry. I didn't even know who this guy was before Golden Tickets. As he throws a corner out here, bounces off the hand of Randy Moss. I uh, don't know if he has post flag elite, uh, but Mike Evans was there. They didn't click me on him. Peter the punter put, putting me out inside the 10-yard line. Got to run blast, get a little space right here, Calvin Johnson. All over it though. Just want to get out past the 10 yard line. Shazier is not having that. I'm telling you, Blast is fun. It looks good in the highlights, but it's really not the best on Mutt. Roll out here, hit this corner route. Boom, first down. But ooh, they didn't give me the animation. A little bit of cheatery. A little bit of cheatery right there. I, if I say so myself, I feel like I got cheated right there. I'm Peter the punter too, man. Get that thing down. Nice punt. Get it out there. Probably a 50 yard punt right there. Dumps it off to Walter Payton. We wrap him up. Swarm, eagle swarm all over the ball. Once again, a little bit of coverage. Uh, like I said, uh, he dots me right there. But my under center D is pretty much the same defense that I showed you guys to stop that near and far stuff um, that people are running on the leaderboards now. That video is below. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Just to, you know, get some of your defense better against these under center uh, rollout, corner route, you know, throwing guys and right there another hit stick no fumble i leave the crossing route open back across the field don't think vic maybe could have made that throw but he didn't see him second and ten he goes for a run right there spin move walter i like the way walter payton holds the ball might have to pick him up just for that just bring a little bit of swag to your team uh and i covered a corner route this time can't go to it nowhere for him to go with the ball throws it away Going to kick another field goal. So I'm down 6 nothing. But like I said, he really couldn't score. That was his best drive of the game. Put together a drive. All I need is a touchdown, and we're right back uh, with the lead. That's all we need. And Christian Okoye is going to run from these two hit stickers right there. Those two uh, safeties with Enforcer. Uh, as I do that, the same right there. But I pick up 15 yards with Michael Vick. Can't run blast two plays in a row. So I'm going to go with a little Trey Y flex action. Once again, he blitzes off the edge like that first series of the game. This time we're ready for it. Put the tight end on a flat route. Hit him, swerve upfield, get a lot of yards, blast again, boom. Just now at this time, I kind of want to use clock. I don't want to give him the ball back. I want this to be the last drive of the game. Dump it off to Ingram. Great block by Calvin out there. We're going to try to stop, and the computer blurs me right there. And Everett Ingram fumbles. Yes, I did get Brolic in front of Taylor Mays, uh, but I play on conservative. I don't juke. I don't do anything. I just kind of stopped and, and hoped he ran by me. But he didn't, and then he jukes two people to the ground, and I get a user hit stick. Where is mine? Where is my fumbles? That's all I ask. I, I just hate, I feel like with the way these, all, all these abilities are automatic all the time, uh, you should not fumble on conservative at all. It should just be zero chance. Just zero, if, zero chance. But like I said, if he gets a field goal here, the game's over. I can't let him get a field goal, and he throws a wheel route underneath to Walter Payton. Uh, Calvin Johnson knocks it off, and it's incomplete. So he's going to not make me use a timeout. Third down, nowhere for him to go. Uh, he must have wind up against him because this is a 60-yard field goal. He cannot kick. So he's so Peter the punter is going to punt. And if you guys watch, if you guys know how guy, these guys sweat on, on weekend league, you know where the punt's going. Three-yard line. So we have two minutes. We're going to run blast just to get, uh, get the, uh, the end zone off our back. The thing about the two-minute warning is that you can quick snap really fast in under two minutes. Uh, the game's animations are faster, and what I want to do right here is just double team his end, block my running back, and snap. Uh, and that's going to pick up his blitz off the left side, allow me to roll out. Boom, quick snap him. I got him on Troy Palomalu, 
and were able to hit this deep post over the cover two. Go get it, Randy Moss. Somehow, Calvin Johnson still wraps me up. That right there was secure tackler. So we're going to do the same thing. This time, I just hit a post route. We're going to quick snap Verts. Verts is one of my favorite plays when we get in here. Want to hit that seam to the streak specialist. We're going to quick snap the hell out of it. He has no user. Seam route. Boom. Big body Calvin Johnson. Touchdown. Just like that. Boom, boom. Two plays. Man, quick strike offense. Utilizing that ability to quick snap under two minutes is a huge part of being a great Madden player and executing. Uh, both times I caught him on somebody he didn't want to use or wasn't able to stop either of my deep plays. Then we'll just get the ball back. He throws this post over there to Randy Moss. Boom, hit stick. But we cannot let him get to the 42-yard line. Remember, he just had the ball go in the same direction and could not kick a 60-yarder. He probably could make a 59-yarder. Right here he goes a little play action. I'm going to click on Von Miller and change his angle so he could not get outflanked. Underrated play there to click on Von Miller, move him up so he could not get outflanked. This time, everybody gets cut blocked. I have to guard this deep post. So I let Gentry catch the ball underneath, and Calvin Johnson wraps him up. Out of bounds, though, so he saves the timeout. He can't get seven more yards, or he's going to make a field goal. Goes for a stretch. Shazier wraps him up, maybe picks up two. Next play, we get to a second down. Uh, there's that boy, Lawrence Taylor, in that contain. Don't get cut blocked. That's all I need you to do. We go coverage here, third and 17. He's going to double A like the bot that he is. Fourth and 17. I debated what to do here. Blitz. Uh, coverage. If it was 4th and 10, I'm definitely blitzing. 4th and 17, we go coverage, play the stick so my cloud flats get out there. We'll see how it does. He's going to go corner route on the left, crossing route. He's going to go with a deep post over here to Moss. I'm going to deep half the right side so I do not get beat by a deep post. And that's what's going to happen. Do you see my cloud flat on the left bag and goes for the deep post? But mama, there's Mike Evans, 6'5". GG's in the chat. That's how you fight. That's how you know. One thing about me in these games, man, I know I can score fast, so sometimes I'll play around, I'll fumble, I won't take the game seriously, and you get caught up in, you know, being down too much. This time, we kept the game close, 6 nothing. always in striking distance, man. Remember, utilize that quick snapping feature if you're under two minutes. I think it's one of the most underutilized things in the game, man. Remember that. Under two minutes, you can quick snap, get the ball out of there. As you see, Coach Clef is happy. Deion Jones, player of the game. Two, six tackles and two sacks. I believe two forced fumbles. Absolutely all over the field. I love that card at middle linebacker. Hit that like button. Subscribe, boys.